Hey guys, I'm here to do a painting um, process video with you all. So this is uh, Beckett. She has now been um, sealed and is ready to basically go home once I properly assemble her. She is the Heather Sculpt by Donna Robert and is around 22 inches long. Her mum has requested her to be bald, so um, after um, just doing some minor things to her, like giving her some lashes, a magnet for her pacifier, because she is local, and I'm also going to be putting in some magnets for hair bows, um, and then obviously I have to assemble her, but I'm not doing that today, I'm just going to let her vinyl rest after being sealed today. I just wanted to share that with you all today, her sweet little face. I think she's turned out really, really cute. Her theme, well, she doesn't really have a theme so much more so that she has just a colour and it's pink. So, um, ironically, my mum started making her this hat and booty set. She's got booties as well, um, in pink. And then I asked her mummy about it and she says, well, actually, I just have pink things for her. So, painting-wise, um, she turned out pretty well. I am... Really happy with um, how she went in the end. Um, there was a few times where I didn't feel as though we were on the right track. But nevertheless, I feel as though we got there in the end. She isn't the most realistic looking sculpt. Like, I don't feel as though she looks very baby-like. She does look like a doll to me. But, um, I still think she's turned out really, really cute. And, um... I think her mum's going to have so much fun with her. I think also the fact that she doesn't look very realistic to me is because I've been working on this one, who is hyper-realistic with the crying expression. This is the Edwin Sculpt by Lisa Marks. This is Emily, though, um, and she is going again to someone in New Zealand. She will be getting hair, though, so she just has to wait for the hair work that I'm finishing up today on to be done. And then I'll be starting on her hair hopefully tomorrow. But she's turned out really, really cute as well. Crying babies are really difficult to get um, into the right shade. You don't want to leave them too pale because when they're crying they would go naturally a, a red tone. But you don't want to go too over the top with the red either. So with her I feel as though I've gotten a right balance with her um, expression and everything. She was a lot of fun. To create. I wanted her to be really mottled um, because her mum did request a lot of colour. She didn't want a pale baby at all. And um, her vinyl was already a very orange shade as it was. I did neutralise it, um, but when you're working with um, German vinyl, you tend to end up with that um, kind of golden tone, no matter how much you neutralise it. So I'm really glad that I had that base tone to work with. Um, and to give her the details that I have. She's turned out really, really cute. And I cannot wait to see her finished. I haven't decided on what size she is. This is a newborn size onesie. Um, but I feel as though she could probably fit into prem a little bit as well. I'm going to do some testing once she's actually um, fully made and everything. Again, she's just temporarily on her body right now. Um, and I will properly assemble her when it is time to. So... I hope that you've enjoyed seeing these two cuties. Um, I will have more about them in the next week or so. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.